So Marbles has decided to do a response video to my nine minute video on him and I'm going to respond to this video because frankly I'm having a little too much fun with this whole thing. Also I don't think he's figured out what it is that I'm doing yet so I'm just going to come out and say it. Basically I'm just screwing with his head. Guys like this are not difficult at all to figure out and when you've seen their manipulation games and play enough times you start to figure out what it is that they're really trying to accomplish, why it is they're trying to accomplish it, and ultimately who they are really as a person. In psychology these hints are called projections and he projects absolutely all over the place. When I did my collaboration with Stout I knew what kind of overall response that was going to get and why. When I did my own nine minute video on him I knew what kind of overall response that was going to get and why. Let's back this up to the initial video that sparked why Stout and I decided to do a collaboration together. Marbles was less pissed off at what Maddie and Andrew had to say about Kanye West and more pissed off at the fact that they were collaborating together in a video in general. Why is this? Well the answer is pretty simple. Look at the kind of people that Marbles chooses to surround himself with generally. These are not people that you would really consider friends or trustworthy. They're backstabbing lowlife assholes. Yet, these same people dislike a lot of the videos that myself and Stoutmeister and any other people out there do when they collaborate for the same reason. And why is that? Because of the shortcomings of their own existences. These people are upset that people like myself, Andrew, Atticus, and others out there actually have meaningful friendships that aren't just based on being negative and talking shit about other people. Whenever they see us do something, out of the jealousy and the misery of their own existence, they lash out. They use the arguments that we make in our videos as a justification to do this, but ultimately the overall reason why they're doing it has nothing almost at all to do with what we're saying in our videos. It's more of why we're doing them and who we're doing them with. They wish they had that. They don't. Therefore, they lash out. It's all about psychology. Now guys like Marbles generally come from very dysfunctional households. There's not a whole lot of stability going on between the parents, mainly because of a divorce or custody battle or they just weren't right for each other and had kids but decided to stay together anyway because it was too big of a hassle to get a divorce. A multitude of issues. But a lot of fighting going on between the parents and the kids having to see that a whole lot. And uh, even with the siblings, not a whole lot of stability there. But in some cases you can sort of expect that because not always do siblings get along very well. In school, guys like him faced exactly the same thing. There was no escaping it. Getting picked on and bullied a whole lot. Ostracized and alienated by teachers because they were becoming very maladjusted to being around people. They treated everyone like shit as a defense mechanism. Most of the time, guys like Marbles turn out the way he has because of all this. They've grown up thinking that this is exactly how you should be and they don't feel anything to it because they've been doing it so long it's become their go-to defense mechanism. It just becomes how they live their lives. Is response to that more than likely? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just pulling all this out of my ass. I have no right to commentate on it. Yada, yada, yada. Guys like this, like I said, are absolutely terrified to face the root of their problems. Getting them to do so is often like moving a mountain. It's nearly impossible. Sometimes it's not even worth it. But I'll be damned if I'm going to stand idly by and let this prick rip people who I consider friends to shreds because doing so is his outlet. You're a fucking adult now. You need to find more constructive ways of dealing with what your issues are than taking them out on other people because it's just been easier for you to do so throughout your life than finding any other fucking way to do it. Now, before I say too much and go overboard for another 10 minutes almost, let's get on to the video response because frankly this video has been long enough as it is. Alright, now before we get started with this, I will admit I have fast forwarded the video just a little bit. He's covering subjects that I've already talked about so far, so there's no reason to go over them again and make the video longer than it needs to be. With that out of the way, here we go. Where's your 40 minutes of defending your other online friends' feelings, hmm? I don't see them. You did not go on and defend Gattaga for 40 minutes after someone made an incredibly rude video making fun of his video. Your white knight credentials are shit, Marbles. And what was I saying about projections of jealousy? Literally, there are no other reasons, aside from jealousy, as to why a person would label the act of you sticking up for somebody you consider a friend as a negative. 
at all. It is not my fault, nor it is Andrew's fault that you don't have anyone in your life who will do this for you. It doesn't matter if I stood up for Andrew for 40 seconds, 40 minutes, or 40 years. You're pissed off that I did it at all. And you won't even admit it. You don't have people in your life who will do things like this for you. Your friends are hard pressed enough as it is to get off their lazy ass and get into a Google Hangout and talk about anything sensible. You don't have anyone in your life to turn to and you're pissed off that people like myself even do. That's the real issue here. And you're gonna say that it's not, which I think is pretty pathetic and pretty sad. Moving along, oh, by the way, if you haven't noticed, there are a lot of cuts in this video. <laughs> anyway. Next up, you thought it would be funny to give Nate Talks to you a seizure. You did, and you had no qualms admitting you thought it was gonna be one big fucking har har by putting a seizure warning in a video that contained flashing lights uh, No, you didn't. There were no warnings in that original upload, but nice try. For the end. That video has since been deleted and re-uploaded sans the description, so you, retroactively, tried to give Nate you Talks to you a... Do, you... do you guys hear that? I think that's the shuffling of someone's hands over their butt cheeks in an attempt to cover their own ass. The original upload had no warnings, and it had a humorous description in your particular brand of idiotic and nonsensical humor about what a big joke the whole thing fucking was. And when people called you out for trying to be a sick piece of shit, you deleted the video, wiped out your description, and re-uploaded it after you edited warnings in the motherfucker, and then said, Oh, you see, you guys were just taking me out of context. Yeah. Okay. You're totally not trying to cover your ass. I get it. I'm wrong. Even though I was there for this and watched it all go down. I've been around for quite a lot of shit on this website. Even if I haven't commentated on it, I've been around for quite a lot. Seizure. I can tell your intentions because like I said, I have these superpowers. You don't They don't really require superpowers to figure out why you are the way you are, jackass. I just spent the first four and a half minutes of my video laying it all out pretty easily. Don't oh, motherfucker. And while we don't have to prove anything, I can move at the speed of light. It's just I didn't just now, because I don't have to. Fuck you people. It's really hard to combat humor that childish. I'm not gonna try. The fifth most important thing I'll mention is that this guy tried to set up a female ranter to get raped and assaulted and brutalized by her ex-boyfriend. Which he did. And I think you're one of the most disgusting motherfuckers on the website ever for trying to do that. And it's from people that you associate with, you sick fuck, that I learned about this shit. That's all I'm gonna give. Again, this doesn't need any evidence. And yeah, I have enough respect for her to not give out the details. I also have- Oh, it's not about respect. You want me to give out the details because then you think in your mind you'll have a justification to go harass and intimidate this person into not talking about what happened to them. They're not gonna anyway, and I don't blame them. But you want me to put it out there because you're too stupid to admit that you tried to set up somebody that a lot of people are friends with to get fucking hurt like this. And you don't give a shit about doing it at all. You didn't. When you tried to do it, you thought it was all just going to be drama. Because you don't give a fuck. So no, I'm not going to lay out any details that you can sit there and use against another person. You fucking ass wipe. Enough respect for her to wait this long to weaponize the notion that she was raped for un Oh, I'm not weaponizing it against that person whatsoever. It's only act you only feel it's being weaponized because it makes you feel a little shitty that you're that fucking desperate for any kind of drama on the website and that fucking attention starved. <sighs> How dare you fucking insinuate that I would ever take advantage of something like that in a person's life to use it against them. I contemplated not even fucking mentioning it in the video, but something like that is just too disgusting to fucking leave out. I can't just sit there and make people believe that you're just somewhat of an asshole. No. I'd be doing people a disservice. That's the kind of sick shit that you'll pull. So go fuck yourself. No, I'm not going to put in any details that is going to reveal this person's identity to you. You already know who the fuck they are anyway because you had no qualms trying to set them the fuck up. And now you're just ass blasted because now you really are made out to be a piece of shit. Because only a real piece of emotionless shit would try to do something like that. <laughs> it's the only reason you're fucking responding to it. 
You wouldn't even even bother if I didn't put that shit in there. You are so easy to fuck with. And you give yourself away every fucking time somebody does something like this. And it's fucking glorious when you do. Until this guy made fun of my internet buddy. Oh, it had nothing to do with making fun of my internet buddy. I knew Stout in real life. You don't have real friends. What the fuck ever. I've known about this shit because people started coming out of the woodwork and talking about a lot of the sick shit that you've done. Because they're fucking tired of you. They're tired of you being such a fucking whiny cunt that you won't address what your real problem is and instead just rage on everybody else because you're too much of a bitch to face your issues like a fucking man. You're, you're, you are like literally the lowest kind of fucking coward. And you're going to respond to this because you don't like what I have to say. And no matter what, you'll always do it. If it was me saying it, if it was Stout saying it, if it was MDA saying it, if it was anybody saying it, You'd fucking respond each and every time because you just feel you don't have a goddamn choice. You gotta cover your ass every fucking time rather than come out and say, you know what, I am a piece of shit and I've set up people like this before because it's where I get my fucking entertainment. <sighs> You're fucking pathetic. Fucking pathetic! That's out of respect right there that I would choose to weaponize your rape. You're welcome. <sighs> I didn't say anybody got raped. So don't twist my fucking words, asshole. I said that you were setting them up to potentially get hurt. And you already knew what could have happened. And you just didn't care. The only reason you wanted to do it was you thought it would bring more drama. So you'd have a reason to go thrash on this person some more. You fucking asshole. Take shot action he made fun of too because the guy started cutting himself with a paper clip horizontally high on his arm. Wow, you're such a dumb son of a bitch. You don't know the difference between a paper clip and a razor blade. And somehow or another, we're all the idiots. You know how fucked up that is? Look, I know you're a loser who doesn't care about his YouTube career, but we've all been there. You think that fucking take shots actions uh, take shot actions issues are only about his fucking YouTube career? Wow, you're a dumb shit. We've all been depressed we didn't get as many comments as we wanted. We've all taken a paperclip to ourselves. So why don't you go fuck yourself, you piece of shit? Why don't you go fuck yourself for being such a fucking mindless asswipe? You don't even know what the hell goes on and yet choose to commentate on it anyway, you fucking soulless fucking faggot. I hate the shit out of people like you that just downplay crap like that. It is fucking disgusting. Yeah, okay, it's not the most proud moment of the guy's life to sit there and do something like that in a tiny chat, and he's even admitted that himself, but for you to sit there and fucking stare into your camera and say that his issues are only from his fucking YouTube career is bullshit. Bullshit. That's just, I mean, I can't even fucking put words onto how just ridiculous you sound. That somebody would go through all that kind of depression over YouTube? Come the fuck on. You haven't even had a single solid discussion with the guy ever. And you're gonna make fucking commentations about him like that? You suck my fucking dick, bitch. Waymo's a faggot, too. I just want to throw that out there. You know, that's pretty much the first honest thing you've said this whole video. Because you're right. I mean, he's a ginormous cock-swallowing faggot. And I hate the shit out of him because he thinks it's nice to exploit shit from other people's lives. And whenever you point out some of the shortcomings of his own life, he bitches and pisses and moans and wets his pants worse than, like, Ralph on The Simpsons. <laughs> so, yeah, i sorry. He's a gigantic fucking faggot. And I'm sorry if that term is pretty harsh. Few apply to a guy like him. Hold on. I'm getting a... What the I'm fuck getting, is he doing? You also don't have a father and you're a victim of domestic abuse. And you, well, you walk. Now, I wasn't implying that you don't literally have a dad. I'm sure you do. It'd be a little weird if you were a test tube baby. But I was implying that you don't have a father who's worth a fuck. Because if you had a father who was worth a fuck, you wouldn't have turned out to be this big of a useless piece of shit. So, wherever your dad is, and whatever big pool of vomit he's passed out face down in with a giant bottle of Jack Daniels right next to him, I applaud your work, sir. You've raised him well. Really, I fucking mean that. By the way, I am not normally a very vindictive person. I'm not. But I got to admit that I feel kind of vindicated by this video response. I mean, when you hit someone in the soul that fucking hard and you get this 
in retaliation, it's honestly hard not to feel pretty vindicated by it. I'm being goddamn serious. This dude is doing everything he can do to pretend that my video towards him did not sting like a motherfucker because I hit the nail right on the fucking head. And it's fucking glorious. It's fucking glorious. He's doing everything he can do to pretend that shit did not hurt. Everything he can do to just try and ignore it and pass it off. I wonder how many fucking hours this dude had to sit in his friggin' house in isolation before he had the balls to even grab his camera and do a fucking video about this. I'm sorry, I come from a similar background, all right? So I know this kind of shit when I see it. I've already gone through my share of problems in life, and unlike this fuckbag, I had the balls to do something about them and get the help that I need. I didn't sit there and malign my problems on other people for my entire life because it's no way to live. So I, like I said, feel pretty vindicated that this is what I'm getting in retaliation. And I'll probably get something even worse in retaliation for this. Because it's all just, it's all just denial. <laughs> it's all just projection. You wear the mask in real life. You wear the mask so people in real life can't tell who you are. Oh, and there he goes, stumbling over a video he'd probably just watched prior to putting the video response up here. Because the mask hides uh, your eyes, your mannerisms, your voice, everything about you. You're actually... Was that supposed to be funny? Because, again, it's stupid. Black woman who appears to be a white man because of that dust mask you're wearing. Also, the I didn't know you were a white man. I just thought you were an asshole. Are I can be just about as unfunny as you. Too, there's no way. Those are just drawn on. I can tell they're sharpie. This is just like when YouTube used pink to intimidate me. Damn. Again, he's just bringing up shit that doesn't fucking matter. That video stung you like a son of a bitch. That's the only reason you even did this response. Because you were like, holy fuck. Somebody called it. Shit. What am I going to do? I got a damage control. I mean, people have already brought up all the shitty things in my life. I mean, you know, they've ripped me apart about my kid. They've ripped me apart because of my family life. They've ripped me apart because of the fucking stupid shit that wound me up in jail. Okay? And once it finally hits them, oh, they don't know what to do. They have to go into fucking reaction mode and just deny it. Because they can't handle being called out by somebody who had the balls to just own up to the stupid shit that they've done in life. And it's fucking glorious. I, like, I have every right in the world to feel, like, totally vindicated right now. And I do. I know it's dark. I'm sorry. But seriously. <laughs> God damn. I can't even imagine. Like, he probably sat around in his house, like, alone for 15 hours. With just, like, a gun to his head. Contemplating whether or not to do it. Before he said, fuck it. I'm just going to completely deny what an asshole I am and just play it off like that shit didn't hurt. <sighs> the fuck is a gish gallop for real? Like, what the fuck is a gish gallop? <sighs> Communists. Like I mentioned before, if you weren't a loser, you'd place more stock in your YouTube career. You're just jealous Stout had that fat, greasy chick on who wasn't contributing to the video at all. No, you're just jealous that people like us have friends and you don't have really friends. You just have psychotic acquaintances that are no better than yourself. And you wish you could do better than that. I'm but I guess that I'm going to be wrong this time, too, because it's in your best interest for whatever reason. It's in your best interest that I'm wrong. When, when somebody basically just blows you the fuck out and calls it, they're wrong. Because it's in your best interest to hide behind what your real problems are and run away from them, you know? That, those people be wrong. Okay. No, you couldn't get a fat, greasy chick to join your videos if you wanted. I you couldn't get a fucking really fat, 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 greasy chick to join your videos. Like, like, think of, like, Jabba the Hutt cubed wouldn't even be in your videos. Seriously. Because, like, where are all the women in your videos? And to be honest... For real, if you think Maddie is ugly, you need to get your fucking eyes checked. <sighs> I know that. Again, my powers are kicking in. Your powers of denial and pretending that shit didn't hurt. Kill yourself. I know you get upset when I say it. Kill yourself. You probably will one day. Honestly, I'm not even fucking around here. You probably will. You're going to get so wrapped up on this shit, you're going to sit in your closet one day with a 12-gauge, and you're going to kill yourself. 
And you just you sit there and say that, oh, that's not an argument. Hey, you're going to do it. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it. You're going to sit there and have wasted all your time yelling at Take Shot because of him deciding to do something that was pretty stupid in retrospect. And, you know, he cut himself and whatever. And yet you're going to be the guy out of the group who drinks a bottle of shotgun mouthwash. <laughs> oh, denial, jealousy, projection... It's all in one video. It's amazing. It's amazing what it's amazing what people will do when you don't give them what they want and you just douse them in the kerosene of the truth. And then just light their ass on fire and just watch what the fucking fuck happens. <laughs> <laughs> just just want to throw it out there too. What what do you think's going to happen, all right? If you want to keep making fun of me, what if motherfucker, one day I came to your house and you answered the door and I was like <laughs> And I beat you up. This is you. Well, considering that you supposedly, and I don't know if this is true, and I don't really give a shit, but it, supposedly you live like 20 minutes from where I live. I don't know if that's true. I've got really no way to verify it because people always bullshit about their information on the internet. So, But suppose, you know, I did. Big fucking whoop. <laughs> It sounds like you're upset about it because you're like fearful I would waste my time in doing that. I mean, if you... Honestly, I know this is really fucking shitty of me, but I'll go ahead and say it. To be honest, I don't understand why the fucking fuck you make fun of autistic people so much in your videos when you're acting like autistic is fucking shit right now. <laughs> you know... There are a lot of people who might take offense, and I don't mean to be offensive, but for real, you're acting like a fucking retarded six-year-old. I mean, is this the best you've got? For real. This is the best response that you have? I win. I mean, it's not even a game of, like, win or lose, and I just feel I win. Because holy shit. That's what I'm going to do to you. That I mean, if that's what you think that my argumentation is all about, then goddamn, you really are a stupid motherfucker. My point. Thank you. For watching everyone I, I just stuck it to him please tell me I stuck it to him you I did stick it to you you made this video response because I stuck it so fucking hard that you actually had to say something about it and you just pretended like it didn't hurt if this is all the fucking rest of the video oh it's one more second okay oh you see there's the last second that's great let me close this out but like I said you know it's pretty obvious what this dude's issues are I'm gonna be wrong because it's in his best interest that I'm wrong, and it's in his best interest that everyone is wrong. But yeah, you know, guys like me just can't be right because people like that want to hide behind what their real problems are. They don't want to face them, and I'm just full of shit. And I don't know what I'm talking about at all. Anyway, um, enjoy the 850 subscribers, which are mostly bots. Enjoy the fact that this is going to sting even worse than the last one. And, uh, you know, if you want to parody me for saying it right on, go fuck yourself. I'm sorry that you just can't get decent friends. I'm sorry that the worst that you have to deal with in life is, or the best, really, that you have to deal with in life is what you got. And you got you to gotta lash out about it. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm some guy on the internet. So are you, and don't worry, I'm going to try to refrain in the future from making videos this fucked up, because let's face it, to be this harsh on somebody is pretty fucking fucked up, and I don't think I'll do that again, <laughs> unless it's warranted, unless it's warranted, uh, yeah, because if you saw where I'm going with this, yeah, anyway, I'm some guy on the internet, so are you, take it easy. And uh, one more thing, by the way. What's wrong with curvy girls? You seem to have an aversion towards having realistic expectations of women. I guess that's to be expected of somebody who learned everything they need to know about sex from porn and hasn't ever had a girlfriend. Okay. But yeah, there's nothing wrong with curvy women except your ridiculously unnerving aversion to them.